in today's video we're going to be continuing our series on the gun uh, or I'm sorry on the West Coast offensive uh, free ebook for my subscribers for my members here at the YouTube channel um, and I'm really excited to do that we're going to be talking about the gun tray open offset formation what's up guys my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video now if you're brand new to the channel maybe you've never caught any of my videos before I break down Madden 21 tips and tricks on my YouTube channel every single day that are designed to help you both on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball improve and basically just have more fun playing this game and so if that's something that you're interested in if you're looking to get better at this game I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen we upload tips videos every single day at at 2 o'clock, at 4 o'clock, at 6 o'clock, and at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. What's up, guys? Basically, what I want to do is I want to talk about gun tray open offset. Now, the audibles you're going to set, we're in the West Coast playbook. The audibles you're going to set are strong flood. You're going to set the Y corner. You're going to set levels switch. And then from there, you can set PA read. And the play we're going to come out in uh, from this, obviously, most of the time you're going to be audibly into this formation. Um, but the play that we are going to come out in is the play FL dig uh, from the gun tray open offset. Now really quick, let me grab uh, just kind of a basic formation here uh, that you're going to see a lot if you play online. Um, and that is going to be, uh, let's just grab the nickel 245. And what we'll do is we'll throw the cover three in there. We'll throw the cover four. Uh, in there and then we'll basically just come out in the man coverage now uh, obviously with this this is something that you can audible to from gun punch and you can take um, obviously the five six trap is one of the best runs in Madden 21 so I would definitely have that in your audibles with this scheme um, and there's no need necessarily to talk about this this is one of the best runs everybody knows that five six trap or those power runs from shotgun are really tough to stop this year so add that in your audibles and then you can choose some of the passing plays that we're going to show you in today's video but let's jump right in here so basically the first play i want to talk about is uh y corner now this is a really really solid play um you'll see here you have this awesome little route to the left the back side on the left side um that's kind of just a solo receiver route and Devonte Adams is a perfect guy to run this route what i also like about it is the routes on the right side here you don't really need to do any adjustments um, just snap the ball and let it work for you. This route to Mar Marquez Valdez Scantling is going to do really good for you. But one little trick that is really important to understand is you want to make sure that when you run this, your trips is to the wide side of the field. So we're going to go ahead and back the ball up and just kind of reposition everything for you. So we have our trips to the wide side of the field here to give us a little bit more space. Now, uh, one last thing that I wanted to talk about really quickly from Y corner is what you'll notice is this tight end when he cuts the outside, he's going to get instant separation against man-to-man -man coverage almost every time because oftentimes that's going to be a linebacker or a safety that is a matched up against that, against that um, player. And it's not often that they're actually going to be able to man coverage and press. Um, it's just really good that it worked out for this alignment. Most of the time it won't. Okay, and so you're going to be able to take advantage of that. But what you'll, what you'll see from this little trips formation is this Y corner with this route to Shepard. Um, you could do several different things with this. If you wanted to, you could actually put him on a flat. You could put him on a streak and fade him. You could put him on anything you really want to. Um, one of my favorite things to do with this is to simply motion him to the left and put him on a little flat route just to clear everything out on this right side of the field. But what you'll notice is this route to Marquez Valdez Scantling is really, really effective against man, against zone. It's a nice little China underneath route um, that's going to get separation pretty much against any coverage that they run. Now for Y corner, the next thing that I wanted to show you here is you'll see that if they run man-to-man -man coverage, this route to the running back will absolutely torch the man-to-man -man coverage. So oftentimes they probably will use her the running back um, because he's going to basically run essentially a circle route. You'll see he's going to come around. It's not te necessarily a Texas route. It's more like a circle route. Um, but let me show you this route to Devontae Adams. Now, the route to Devontae Adams, as long as he doesn't get a, uh, a losing animation on a press like he just did, um, this thing is going to torch it. You'll see here if he gets that inside release, which 99% of the time, uh, Devontae Adams or a good receiver would get that in Madden, you're going to be able to hit that route, you know, pretty much for an awesome gain, uh, regardless of what they're going to do. So you have multiple man beaters from this. You have your route to the backside 
Um, these double ends, I really like them. The one issue with them, especially if you're going to run them against press coverage, in my opinion, is it doesn't give you great spacing. And that is why one of the things that you can experiment with is just putting that guy out to the outside on a little flat route just to get him out of the way. Um, or just motion him to the backside and put him on whatever you want to. Maybe, you know, one of the things you could do from this is you could take him and put him on a zig route and then just simply motion him to the left. And what you'll notice is this is going to continue to keep with all the spacing that we want to have. But now you've got that guy on a whip route. And if he gets separation, you know, that's an automatic 5, 10 uh, yards against the defense. Now, this play works a ton, and I mean a ton better, against shaded coverage over top coverage. And the reason why is because these routes aren't going to get pressed, and what you'll see is they're going to come underneath and get a lot of separation. Now, par partially uh, with Jair Alexander, because he has such good man coverage and not, there's such a deficit between his man and um, Vada Scantling's route running, he's going to get an advantage on this. But if that's any other stock corner it's not going to matter you're going to be able to hit that consistently um this route to the tight end is still going to get open he's a really it's a really sharp cut on that tight end corner route and so that's going to be very very effective as far as beating um you know any kind of any kind of man coverage that they're going to employ now this route on the left side is much much more effective whenever they shade coverage over top as you can see here that free release he's going to be able to run and he's going to be able to roll against that coverage as far as how does this play against zone coverage, um, you're basically going to play essentially a game. If they jump down on these dig routes, these little quick in routes, um, then you're going to hit your, your corner route in behind it. Most of the time, you're going to hit those underneath routes against zone coverage, um, just being honest with you, just because of how everything's going to tend to work out within this play. Uh, what you'll notice here with this tight end is if there's a, you see how cover three kind of boxes it, it kind of bags it on that left side. That's why you got to be under, you got to be a little bit understanding about this. You know, really that corner route is more for a Tampa two hard flat look, which is something that I rarely get. But this is like something like this right here. That's really what that that route's for. I'll be honest with you, I don't throw the corner route a lot um, against zone coverage just because you know. And again, if they're deep halfing out of cover two. Um, which is very common to do if they're deep halfing their outside guy then yeah i'll throw that route as you'll see right there on that cut but you know i wouldn't hold your breath waiting for that corner route to get open against zone what i would use it more as is a pull route to open up windows for your underneath in routes um, this little snap throw to the running back right as soon as he gets out of the backfield you can throw them the ball um, is very very effective against his own coverage and then obviously uh, this route to Devontae Adams when he comes through he's going to be uh, basically right over the middle of the field um, right there Aaron Rodgers had a little bit of a an under pressure inaccurate which is not awesome by any means but like I said this is I mean, this is like simple, simple stuff. You're basically looking to the right. If you can't hit anything over there, then you're going to come back and work this again. I don't know why I'm getting so many under pressure inaccurates. We're just going to basically spy the defensive line because uh, Zedarius Smith is just causing absolute ruckus uh, in the backfield. But what you'll notice here is I have the snap throw to the left side. If that's not open, then I can hit that route to Devontae Adams. Now, really quickly, before we go to the next play, I want to talk to you about my text message membership. Now, some of you might have heard of what this is, but basically what it is, is it's a, it's a way, it's a tool for you guys um, to be able to get a deeper look at uh, Madden. It's a, basically a video that I release to only people who have texted in every single week. So all you have to do to receive it is just text me. You just pull out your cell phone, type in uh, my cell phone number, and my number is 812 Two one six three six four four. So just shoot me a text message. The number is in the top left corner of my screen. It's also in the uh, description as well if you're looking for it. But just shoot me a text message and say, "Hey Cody, I'd like to receive the text message videos." And then what I'll do is I'll send you a playlist, which I believe now we at this point we're going to have ten videos in it, and we update it every single week. So every week you're getting a new video, and most of these videos are thirty to forty-five to sixty minutes long. And they're talking about some type of high-level scheme or concept. For example, um, we released a Minnesota Vikings guide. We've released a uh, gun cluster breakdown. We've released a gun bunch full ebook um, in there for you guys. We've got the big nickel over G defense in there. We've got the the gun split close. We've got the A slot offset. We've got a ton of material in there. Is what I'm getting at. 
And so if you want to take your Madden game to the next level with some really good material, one of the guys that picked up the text message membership said these videos are actually better than a lot of the ebooks that he's actually purchased this year. It's completely free. All you got to do is just text me to sign up for it. And again, my cell phone number is 812 812- 216-3644. So don't let another day go by without signing up for it. I'm telling you it's worth it. And there's no scams, no gimmicks whatsoever. Just once a week, we'll text you. If you have Madden questions, you can feel free to ask me because it is my personal cell phone number. So you can feel free to text back, ask me your questions. Um, it, it, you know, Again, no scams or gimmicks. We're just trying to connect with you guys um, and just trying to be give you as much access as we possibly can um, to be able to help you as much as we possibly can. So if you want to join that, um, that's how you do that, and the number is in the description. Okay, so uh, the next play that I want to talk about is Strong Flood. Now, this play doesn't look like much, uh, but it's really, really good. Uh, against man-to-man -man coverage, this route to Devontae Adams is going to get instant separation every single time. Always going to get inside inside positioning. Now, the one thing that I actually like to do at the back, just because I like the space, I just want to get him out of the way, is I'll put him on a wheel route. Uh, and what you'll see is it's going to open that middle of the field up, and they're going to have to basically at least honor the fact that the running back's on a wheel route on the back side. Now, if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. It's not necessarily critical to the play, but it's something that I like to do. And then the next thing that you're going to be able to do is this little out route to Shepard um, is 15-yard out route. 15-yard out routes in this year's game are really, really effective for being able to beat man, being able to beat zone. We're going to get over to zone in just a minute. What you'll see is you're going to get a nice natural rub, and you're going to get outside against zone. Those are your two primary reads against man-to-man -man coverage. Neither of the other routes are going to win, but because those two are so spaced out, um, they're going to be really effective. Now against shaded coverage up, you'll notice that this is going to work even better. you got a, basically a snap throw on the left side to, to Devontae Adams, which they're not going to be expecting, and they're not going to use for the solo side, um, at least from my experience within running this offense. Um, and what you're going to basically be able to do is then work backside. And what you'll see is this flood, this out route, again, doesn't look like much, but it's very, very effective. Now, against zone coverage, this is one of my favorite plays against the zone. It's the most simple play on God's green earth for zone coverage, but it's so effective. Essentially, you're reading high to low. What do they do? Do they take, do they take the flat route or do they jump to the out route? That's all you're looking at. So if they, for example, if they're running a cover three and they're going to play, you know, kind of basic and they're going to basically drop back on that, then you're just going to hit the flat route. Once you see that press animation, you're going to hit that flat route and you're going to get about 10 to 15, you know, you know typically get 7 to 15 yards um, depending on what they do. Now what I want to do is I want to show you what happens if they cloud flat you on the outside. You'll see that it looks a little bit more um, tight of a window. What's happening is that point, that out route is jetting, or that cloud flat is jetting to the outside, meaning it's jumping to the outside. It's getting out there quick. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow you a window to low ball this out route. Generally, that's where you're going to want to go with the ball. Uh, there's either a low ball to that out route or um, just simply hitting the out route. But what you'll see is this thing is super, super effective. Uh, against the against zone coverage you'll see even here um, now if you're running against a cover two defense and this is why strong flood is so good let's say that they're running cover two what you'll notice is marquez about a scantling is going to get an outside release and essentially all you've got to do is hit him in the right in the right window um, now part of it obviously you know one of the things that i actually like to do is refade him just to make sure he gets that outside release but basically, once he gets outside, I'm throwing this to the outside, clicking on, and I'm going to possession catch that right up the sideline. And that has been very consistent for me as long as I am on the wide side of the field whenever I run this. Now, what a lot of people will do is they'll start to run Mabel coverage on you with something like this. If they see you running flood, they're going to run Mabel. The problem with Mabel is you can still low pass that little route to Shepard. And we haven't even talked about the backside and what you're going to be able to do within this formation. So on the back side of this play, as far as how does this do against zone coverage, um, this route to Devontae Adams is basically just going to be a check down route. He's going to get open at different points against different zones, but effectively he is simply a check down route. Now, if they don't hard flat or they don't play um, a certain way, and, and, and what's crazy is if they hard flat both sides, you're going to have that flat route all day. 
So they're going to kind of have to hard flat one side and play off on one side, which is going to be hard for them to do. But essentially, if they don't hard flat on the left side, you could hit that running back for, you know, an easy game uh, up the field. And then obviously, like I said, that route to Devontae Adams is going to come, come open against different coverages. So that is flood. Uh, so we've gone over flood. We've gone over Y corner. Now I want to go over level switch. Absolutely love this play. This is basically an invert of levels. Um, or sorry, Y corner. And all we're going to do on this is we're just going to smart route Devontae Adams. And that's pretty much it. Um, there's nothing else for us to do. If we expect press coverage, um, then we're going to take this um, this right of screen slot receiver and just put him on an out route again. We're just trying to get a natural rub on that on that right side with that little, um, or I'm not, I'm sorry, not an out route, a flat route. But effectively, this is just levels. Um, there's nothing really different it's just now your levels is working the middle not the outside uh, of the formation so what you'll see here is Marquez Valdez Scantling is going to get a nice inside release to be able to um, effectively catch that that in route against press man the next thing I want to show you on this for level switch is again and there's nothing too crazy here right uh, but what you'll see is this route to uh, your tight end is going to consistently beat man-to-man -man coverage right on the cut and so they're gonna to have to use or one of those two guys and oftentimes they're going to end up end up using the tight end which is going to oftentimes leave uh marquez about a scantling wide open against man-to-man -man coverage the other thing is this backside fade stop route just basically you're gonna low ball and pass lead down um or i'm sorry low ball pass lead inside and that route is going to do really really good against man-to-man -man coverage now, all of these routes, once again, are going to do a little bit better against off coverage than they're going to do against man coverage or press coverage, I'm sorry. Um, and so if they're in off coverage, meaning they're just shading up, uh, what you'll notice here is you would just leave these in routes as all, as they are. Now, again, you know, just take, take Jair Alexander with a grain of salt because uh, if you have a better route runner out there or if you have an average corner out there, you know that's not going to happen now obviously your dig to your tight end is going to be very effective i love this 15 yard dig it's kind of my uh, safety valve you know against all kinds of different coverages and then this route on the left side with with Devonte adams um just curl you know it's just a simple fade stop it's 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 open uh just throw it now the cool part about this is against zone coverage you know it's kind of the same thing um, that we were looking at, but basically uh, this dig is oftentimes left alone in zone coverage. So you can get this for 15 yards right in front of that deep third or deep middle uh, zone. You know, it's going to be very effective. Now on the, on the other uh, note here, what you're going to notice is you're going to basically play a high low game with this back and with this um, left side receiver here. So what you'll see is that back's going to pull those zones out and you're going to be able to hit that fade stop right in between the zone coverages uh, relatively uh, relatively easily and then the, the next play I want to go over and this is primarily for press man if they're running a lot of press man uh, this is what I'm going to go to this is PA Reed and essentially we're just going to fade Devontae Adams uh, but what you'll see here is Marquez Vadas Scantling is going to get a pretty good inside release against press man and so if they're running something like a press man type of defense um, oftentimes they're going to be using the tight end. They're going to be using the, the wide receiver or whatever. And so against press man, you could easily hit this route to Marquez Valdez Scantling right to the inside for an easy separation against man-to-man -man coverage. As far as FL dig goes, um, this is just kind of one of those other plays that you can mix in as well. Uh, the back route will torch man-to-man -to -man coverage. It's really, really good, especially if you use Aaron Jones. Um, the next thing that I want to show you here, and again, this is basically just inverted levels. Um, but what you'll notice is this tight end route. Uh, well, sometimes if he gets a good separation, he'll get over the top of it. That backside dig to Marquez Valdez Scantling does really, really good. And what you can do with you can is you can take Shepard and just put him on a five yard in route. It's going to make him look like he's running. Um, it's going to make everything look like it's running levels or something like that. But now you have inverted levels, which is just different people at different depths. But I, I really, really like that dig. Um, or I'm sorry, this FL dig play. Now, as far as your C route on the left side, what you'll see here is when he cuts to the outside, if you have a good receiver, and when I say good, I mean over 90 route running, that's going to get open. If you don't have a good receiver, 
it's not going to get open um, as well against man-to-man -man coverage. But um, like you see here, you see how he gets rerouted, but he's still able to get out there. So again, get yourself a receiver with 90 deep route running. If you don't have one, there is certainly ways to beat this, uh, to be to be able to beat zone coverage. So for example, if I was trying to, if I really needed to beat man-to-man -man coverage, I would go to something like this out of PA Reed, and I would just put Shepard on a motion slant. And basically, you know, if they're pressing coverage, you're gonna get unbumpable everywhere. That slant's gonna torch man. So don't fret too much about man. You do have answers to it, but you also have answers against other things as well in a more tactful way. So that's the uh, tray open offset from the West Coast playbook. Um, this is a formation that I just mix in with my with my shotgun bunch. Um, obviously, uh, I love this formation in terms of running the ball. I think this is one of the best formations that you can use because it has just some really, really good, uh, just some really, really good plays in terms of running the ball. Obviously, it has really good routes as well. Uh, and what I like about the West Coast playbook is it's just simple. You know, there's nothing too crazy from it but it just works everything in the west coast playbook works well and it works well together so you can have the slip screen you can have a read option you can have inside zone five six trap this five six trap is one of the best runs in madden 21. Um, it's one of the toughest runs to stop um, in terms of a user blowing it up it's going to be difficult because of the blocking and because of where they're going to block and where the lanes are going to open up for you so all in all this is a really really good formation but if you guys want to get better at this game, I would highly encourage you joining the text message membership. If you thought this video was in-depth, the videos that we do in our text message membership are super in-depth. And I believe they're super, super helpful uh, for anybody trying to get better at this game. So all you got to do is just text me. My number is 812-216-3644. The number is also in the description. And it's also in the top left-hand corner of your screen. So pull out your phone. Don't waste another second. Join the text message membership. And if you haven't already, guys, we will be live streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. And the best way to keep up to date with when we go live is to make sure that you're in my Discord. That link is also in the description um, as well in this video and is going to be just an invaluable resource for you because you're going to be able to stay up to date with everything about my channel, my CFM, and all that stuff. But you're also going to be able to ask questions to other Madden players and be able to get answers to your questions, be able to find new lab partners, and just kind of be a part of my community, not just a spectator of my videos. So I'd highly encourage you to go ahead and join that Discord. Other than that, guys, our next video is going to be uploaded at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time today. So be sure to be on the lookout for that, and we will see you on tonight's live stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time.